Hey everybody, welcome back to creating scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator using free resources. Uh, we are going to start um, learning how to do ground textures, not ground textures, but ground markings uh, at airports or whatever. And so this video series, I don't know if it's going to be a series, but um, I'm working on this at the same time I'm doing my regular videos. So I'm doing this one a little bit different. I'm actually recording segments and then I'll be putting them into my video editing and putting them together. So you guys will find out why I don't like to do video editing. Um, but anyway, we are going to learn how to do, how to bring in um, uh, painted lines, make our own custom painted lines, uh, runway markings, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so this is going to take me a while to do, but I hope you'll get something out of this and uh, enjoy it. So here we are at my guinea pig airport, 5 Alpha 1 in Huron County, Ohio. Um, uh, that's my 172 in my uh, high school robotics color scheme and our team number is my tail number on my 172 November 5413 Sierra Romeo all right so what we're gonna do is um, to use painted lines you have to have an airport <coughs> and it doesn't have to be a real airport, but anyway. So I have an airport created at the scenery called 5 Alpha 1. All right. Now, I don't have any aprons or anything like that, so I am going to go ahead and put an apron on here just so our, our lines show up a little better. All right. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go down to apron. At, there's apron right there and I'm going to add a default apron click add hold down my left control key and just click make uh, make us make a box now it may not be you know exactly you know what the apron is but I just wanted to put an apron uh, below so we can see uh, our lines better all right now to add lines you are going to come down to painted lines and you're gonna click painted lines and you get a list of all these different lines line symbols that you can use now some of them are duplicated uh, because they have an underscore lighted means that uh, not only will the simulator add the line that you draw but it'll put a row of lights on there too as well okay so for the default you click the default and you do add and you and you add the line just like you did the polygon so you'll hit your left control key and click with your left mouse button click there and then hit enter when you're done and if you notice that we have a yellow line okay now if I wanted to put in a um, let's say uh, a hold short so I'll click hold short, do an add, left mouse, left control, click, left click, left click, hit enter. So we have a, a hold short line, okay? And if I wanted to um, make us have a curved line, and I'm just going to use the default line for... For, uh, no, I'm going to use uh, service edge, service edge surface dash, okay, and I'm going to add, and I'm going to left control click, 
click, click, click, click, click, and then hit enter. It's automatically going to make this a curve following each uh, vertice of the line. Now, if I don't want that curved, I'm going to right click, do properties. And if I don't want that to curve, but I want it to be sharp angles, I am going to t uh, take the true angle. This is, I right clicked on the line to bring up the properties and I'm going to say all points. And so now it's no longer curved. All right, they're true angles. Okay, and if you want them curved, just turn off none. Okay, then you can play with end or both you know to one of them will be some and then the rest will be curved that kind of stuff alright so that's the basics behind adding lines however airports usually have I mean yeah airports usually have uh, a different color scheme of their lines the default lines are just uh, kind of a translucent yellow that you can see some you know it's not perfect painted because of the of the concrete but a lot of airports they have a black outline um, a black underbase of the lines on top of the the pavement right so how do we do that well you have to have a custom set of lines that uses the same definition of the line that you're using okay so here was the default line which was a yellow line and this line was the uh, hold short line and then this one right here was the dashed uh, the service the edge service dashed line okay and it goes into the library to find um, what part of an image that it's using to make that line now what do I mean by that okay well I'll show you if you notice when you have when you have uh, your objects up and you want to find the material okay these would be markings so you click markings and it brings up the markings now I've turned bitmap preview on so we can actually see the texture okay so if I come down to here you have the color markings helipad and I have markings selected and if you notice taxiway markings base material you're going to see the image that is being used to make these lines. So for the default, the default line, that first line that I put, it's using part of this image that I have hovered on to make that line. Um, the default line is kind of hard to see because it's using a specific spot, okay? in this image but if you look at the hold short you can actually pick out the hold short symbol in this actual texture okay it's the uh, first four vertical lines of this texture now if you look at the uh, service edge dashed line that curve line that we put down it is using the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th spot, okay, in this image. Now, if we wanted to make enhancements to these lines, we would need this image and bring it into our uh, Photoshop or our Krita and make edits to it, all right? Now, where do you find where that image is? Well, if you look at the bottom of the texture, it gives you the name, 
ASO underscore taxiway underscore marks underscore tiff underscore DDS. That's the name of the file. Okay. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your your uh, Windows Explorer and find that file and make a copy of it and convert it into a PNG and then bring it into your your Krita or your Photoshop or your GIMP and make changes to it and I'm going to show you how to do that <clears throat> all right so write down that name ASO taxi way marks dot tiff dot DDS So where do we go to get those uh, images that we saw in the material library that the default game is using and copy those over so we can work with them? Well, now I have the Steam version. I have the Steam version, but if you go to your community folder and you go back to the Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator directory, and go into Packages, go into official go into your steam in my case it might be the one store for you okay and then we're going to go down until we find our base materials so we're going to come down and find fs base materials material lib and then you're going to go into the material lib libs for that and then base material lib and then textures all right sounds like a long way to go to go get them right all right so you're going to see a whole bunch of dds images and basically you want to find that file that you saw that you saw that those lines were based on right and in my case, I'm going to go over here and uh, I'm going to copy those into my tutorials directory. All right, so I find ASO taxiway underscore marks tiff DDS. All right, you'll see uh, a flags too, but don't worry about that. Don't copy that. So grab that taxiway marks file and right click and drag and drop that into uh, some folder all right copy all right now we also saw the ASO color and I gotta find out where that is ASO color so that's gonna be up here where is it cement the colored markings all right so there's the there's the colored markings and I'm gonna right click and drag that into a workspace copy all right so now if I go into tutorials and in this one I have those two images that I've copied from the default game all right the taxiway marks is what's being used to make the taxiway lines and then the color has some colored lines and and stuff that we might be able to use with later all right but we're only going to concern ourselves with the taxiway marks to begin with all right now most software you can't just bring in the dds and be able to view it so you'll have to get some plug-in for your photoshop or gimp or Krita and convert that DDS into a PNG so how do we do that well there's going to be a link to where you can get a an exporter for GIMP uh, in the description of the video all right and just follow the prompts on how to install it okay and once you get that you're going to open up GIMP so I have GIMP open here and I already have the plugin for GIMP already installed and that link 
tells you how to do that. And I'm just simply going to go to File, File, Open. And I'm going to migrate over to where I have, where I just copied that file, which was in my Projects folder and Tutorials. And there's ASO Taxiway Marks. So I click that DDS and open it. All right, and this is what the file looks like. All right, it's kind of like a translucent yellow lines. Okay, remember the checkerboard means transparent. All right, so you can see the checkerboard behind the line, uh, meaning that there's some kind of translucency to that yellow color, and the same with the white over here. Now, when I did the default line, just that simple yellow line, it was using this stripe right here, this very first stripe, all right? And when I added the hold short line, it was using all four of these yellow lines, okay? And then anytime that you add a um, ILS, hold short it's going to use this area of the image and then when I did the edge the service edge dashed it was using this area of the image to create that um, edge line all right so depending on the line that you choose the painted line that you're going to add to your scenery depending on which line that you choose to draw it will map out based on this image where it's getting the symbology for that line alright so once you have this in GIMP you have the uh, the DDS open and it's a TIFF you want to convert this file and you want to file export export as and I am just going to rename this whole thing to my underscore taxiway, ta taxiway underscore lines, okay, period, PNG, all right. So we're exporting the DDS the TIFF DDS into a PNG and you just give it some kind of name so my taxiway lines is what I'm calling it so I export it and now you have now you have a PNG that you can bring into your favorite editing software and make edits to it and I'm going to show you how to do that as well Okay, I have now opened Krita, which is a Photoshop clone software that's free. A link in the description in the video for where to get that. And we are going to open our My Taxiway Lines PNG that we just saved from GIMP or converted in GIMP. So I'm going to open that in Krita. And it looks pretty much the same, right? Okay, now this image, if you look down, it is a 2K image, 2048 by 2048. Now we are going to create, uh, we're going to create new symbols or enhance these symbols based on the area that's being used for certain parts of our line symbol okay so I'm gonna create a new layer a new paint layer and I'm gonna call this uh, black okay and then I'm gonna create a another new layer and I'm gonna call this one yellow Okay. 
Now I'm going to go to black and I am going to change my active color to black and I'm going to change my background to a uh, a yellow, a gold yellow, whatever. I'm gonna try to match the color as well as I can. It may not be perfect. Okay, so now I'm using this this gold color for the for the safety yellow. Okay, uh, you can play with the colors to determine that. All right. Now what I want to do is create uh, the underlying color of my line. If you look at airports, the lines that you see, the yellow lines that you see, or the white lines that you see, they're usually um, painted over a black area. So they're highlighted by black, right? All right, so knowing that, I know that this, this whole short is uh, sitting on a black field, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create in Krita on the black layer, which I have selected. I'm going to select the rectangular tool and I do not want, I do want to fill it with the foreground color. And for the outline, I don't want an outline. I just want the black box. All right. And then I'm going to make a box around my lines like this that creates a black space, right? Okay. Now I also have one here. So I'm going to make a black box around those. And I also have a black box around my ILS. And I have a black box. Now, if you if you don't see this very well, you can just change the order. Let's take our background and move that up in our stack so you can see the yellow line on top of it, right? Okay, and let's go back to our black. And we want to add a black boundary around this line symbol. Okay. And you might want to add one around the service line. Something like that. And let's do these dashed lines here. So basically I'm putting a black field behind those lines. That's really all I am doing. And then here we can hit these all together like that. Okay. Then I'm just going to simply do a file save as. Okay. I'm doing a file save as. And I'm changing and I'm saving this as a Krita file. Which is a K-R-A. Hit enter. That way the way I have this project set up, I can come in and edit it without messing with the original PNG file. All right. So I created a Krita file. Then I'll take this and export it back out as a PNG. All right. That way you have a project that you can come in and say, eh, that black isn't right or the yellow isn't right. All right. Now I want to work on the yellow. And I don't like the translucent. Uh, I really don't. It makes it look too fuzzy. And even though they have gone in and made rough edges on your lines and stuff, so it looks like the paint was splattered, I don't like that. I never have. All right. Now, what you could do is you can easily, if you wanted to use that same image in in um, the yellow image we can turn off the black all right and we can create 
not create we can select our background and we can use the uh, continuous selection tool or we can use the similar color tool and we can simply click that and it creates a mask around anything that is that yellowish color right so we're saving the mask that way we don't have to redo all of these dashed lines right all right so now I've used the uh, similar color selection tool and now I have a selected mask and I can go over to the yellow and I can turn off the background go over to our yellow and choose make our yellow the foreground color and use our paint tool and click inside that mask and we've recreated those lines 100% opaque now since we use the mask selection tool we still get the rough edges which is fine I mean I don't like them but uh, when people zoom into the lines they are gonna see that they're paint splattered or something like that but I have made the lines themselves opaque so they're going to be crisper yellow all right so with that mask is selected now we can go to selection and deselect the mask and now we have our yellow lines now let's turn off uh, our original background is turned off now let's turn back on our black and they're they're brighter, they're more crisp, they're cleaner, and they have that back, they have that black background. All right, now what are we going to do with the white? We can do the same thing with the white. However, in this particular mode, I am going to make a new single line because if you notice, if I use the default line to make the white stripe, it's it's not very thick okay it um, it's not very wide I don't believe it's correct all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the yellow layer and I am going to add a rectangle and over the edge line dashed symbol okay so if I turn on the edge line dash symbol, you see how that shows up. I want to make this a thicker yellow line. Like this. Okay. That way I have a thicker yellow line. All right. I'm going to edit. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to redo it and make it a little bit narrower. So we have a little bit more black on the edge. Just like that. Okay, so instead of using default, you know, default to make that straight line, I can use the edge, uh, edge service dash line to make my solid line. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a file save. Okay. And then you can go in and you can uh, uh, work with this, you know, select this stuff, select the white, and reproduce this, these lines here. All right, so um, how do I want to do that? Let's turn off the yellow. All right, and let's turn off the black. So I just have the original background image. All right, and I am going to select the background. I want to create a new layer, and we're going to call this new layer white. Okay, go back to our background layer, and I'm going to do the, now if I did a, continuous select for the white it's going to select all the white I mean a uh, similar color but if I did the continuous it's only going to select the splotchy stuff right okay but I don't want to do that I want to select 
those just like that okay now I can go to my white layer and I can choose I'm gonna choose black because I don't have to recreate the yellow I'm gonna choose white and I'm gonna make that our foreground color all right and I'm simply gonna use the paint bucket and drop the white into that field and then I'm gonna select deselect our mask and turn on our black and I'm gonna save the Krita file save okay and let's turn off our background because we don't want it anymore and turn on our yellow so now I've created a new line symbol set now the only thing is is right here we have this white uh, influence right here so we're gonna go back to the white layer turn off the yellow and we are going to erase we're going to erase the white that we had in this spot because we don't want it because we like our yellow line for that symbol okay so I'm erasing the white okay and we can save and change our brush back to our regular brush that we've been using and then turn our yellow back on and now we'll resave our Krita file okay so now I have gone into the uh, original taxiways the taxiway lines the PNG and I've made some enhancements to the colors of the lines or the the crispness of the colors made them more opaque so they'll show up better on the ground and I've made the black areas a little wider so we can see some black outlines to our lines and I've redone our straight taxiway line okay now it's time to export this so we'll go to file export and we're gonna give this a new name alright now I could save it as my taxiway lines again PNG but I'm going to put my new underscore taxiway lines and I'm going to replace the KRA with a PNG and I'm going to get hit save my new taxiway lines and I'm going to hit save and accept the compression so we've used Krita to manipulate that uh, original DDS to make it look the way that we want to alright so now we're going to get out of Krita and bring it back into the sim we need to get our new the my new taxiway lines PNG that we just created we need to get that into our airport uh, material library all right so I'm going to expand my scenery folder and uh, I don't want Akron I want five alpha one there's five alpha one uh, package sources uh, five alpha one materials and texture folder and I'm simply going to take my new taxiway lines right click and drag those into the materials textures folder copy alright so if I go into that folder I have the one that I brought up 
at the beginning just to kind of show you a couple things but here is our new uh, edited file okay now let's go into the sim okay I'm in the sim so and I have my video of me turned off because it would freeze up anyway so I'm gonna go in tools open up the project editor project open project and we're going to go back to 5 alpha 1 select the XML open that up and then we are going to open up the bugle into the editor okay all right so here we have this apron that we added to our airport now it's time to add our new image into our material library now we've added it in we've we copied it into the texture folder but the sim doesn't know how to use it yet so we are going to go to the material editor and select our select our material library so I'm going to select select the 5 alpha 1 materials hit select it pretty much looks the same as this okay now I'm going to go into file new and I'm going to call this new lines alright uh, you can put taxi lines it doesn't matter alright and hit enter to save that name and come down click the black box and we are going to migrate into our 5 alpha 1 package sources materials textures and there's our my new taxiway lines select that PNG open it should show up in this box right here and then save so now it is in our list of uh, materials all right you can close this box now we are going to add those lines again so I'm going to in my scenery editor I'm going to change this to painted lines and let's select default and add so I'm going to hold down the left control left mouse click left mouse click hit enter all right, now this is the default line. Okay, if you remember, it's, it was kind of translucent to begin with, plus it was rough edges. Of course, we kept the rough edges, all right, but it's kind of translucent, kind of, it would make the paint look kind of faded, all right. Now I'm going to right click properties and under optional materials all right we are going to select our new texture file and we're gonna left mat drag and drop that on the three dots and notice that that line is a little bit more brilliant right now you notice that there's no black around it okay the black is here's the frustrating part about the default line that's why I created a new line using the uh, edge surface dashed okay and I'll show you why that black border depending on ha uh, how you draw it okay determines where it gets the boundary of this line alright now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to zoom out a little bit I'm gonna close the properties of the default line and I'm gonna add a hold short line and we're going to add gonna hit the control left control click left click and left click and hit enter and there is our uh, hold short line right okay but it doesn't have the black background 
All right, so let's right click properties and let's take our new line symbol that's in our library, left drag and drop that into optional materials. And now we have the black background of our line. Okay. Now let's look at what it does with that edge surface line. All right we are going to come down to edge surface dashed and we're going to add and I'm going to left control left mouse click left mouse click hit enter and we are going to right click properties and we're going to take new lines and left drop and drag on our three dots and now we have a crisper taxiway line, okay, with the black outline, all right. Now remember that DDS or that that object, uh, that texture that we brought in to begin with. Remember each portion of that file um, dictates based on this information, what part of that image it, it uses. All right. Okay, what I have done is I have gone into Krita and I have taken the image of the default lines and I added numbers to each one of these segments. All right. So one through 17. All right, just along each one of these stripes. And I saved that out as its own PNG and I loaded it into the material library of this particular airport. And I've added it to the library, okay? I have then gone in and I have added different lines and I replace the default textures with that numbered texture all right so that will tell us what lines in our file these are associated with particular line types okay I hope you guys understand that so this first one was the default. If I, if I click on uh, open up properties, there we go. And then I'm going to move that up so it's smaller. All right, so this first line is the default line and I replaced it with a number. And you can notice that there's a number one in there. So that's using, so the default line is using the very first stripe of the uh, hold short line. Okay. Now the hold short, the hold short is using lines one, two, three, and four to make it. The ILS line is using line 7, 8, and 9 to, to construct that, all right? This is the edge line dashed, and it's hard to read the number on it, but I think it is using three and four, these two together, okay? Looks like a three and a four, <clears throat> and then it scales it, all right? Automatically scales it. The edge line solid is basically a scaled version of lines one and two these two right here in the file. 
So this one and this one is using the same spot except it's doing some kind of a scaling effect to it. The edge service dash line is using 11 and 12. Okay. The hold short taxiway is using line four, this right here in the in the texture file. The service dash, I believe, is using twelve. Just twelve and then it's stretched by default. Okay? So it's making it, somehow the sim makes it skinnier and longer. The wide yellow line is a scaled version of the first line in our file. This one right here. So it makes it wider, okay? I hope you guys are understanding what what the sim does with this texture. All right, then uh, let's come over here. Um, the non-movement line is using lines two and three out of our texture. So we'll bring that up. Two and three. So these two together make up the non-movement line. The wide white stripe, which is this one here, is using line 15. Okay, cut off part of my five. All right, so if I bring up the actual texture, here is line 15 right here. So it is scaling that automatically in the sim, making it wider but it's using texture um, 15, uh, position 15 in the texture. The orthographic, the ortho line, okay, the edge solid ortho, looks like it's using one and two which is these first two lines in our texture file, right here, one and two, but then it's creating a crosshatch in this direction. So I'm thinking it's probably using one of these, but I haven't figured out which one it's using, okay? I don't think it's taking a regular line and, and, and rotating it. I think it's actually clipping part of one of these lines across so it's probably either the I think it's probably the top one so I can go in and move this eight up to here and see if that is the case so that is how the sim uses that one texture to make all of these line types I hope you guys understood that. Let me know in the comments. Alright.